Hi guys, welcome back to the Culture Curve Academy. I'm here today to give you a simple tip for shot shaping. We're going to look at two different ball flights. One the fade, which is a left to right shot, and one the draw, which is a right to left shot. All both these movements can be made with the same backswing, just a different transition. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the fade. Okay, the fade is a ball that moves from left to right in the air, and what we're going to do is we're going to give you a really simple tip to be able to hit that fade when you want to. Again, when the flag's on the right hand side of the green, I think it's much better to start the ball at the middle of the green with a soft fade to try and get as close as you can to that flag, rather than trying to hit it potentially right at the green with draw. It's a much, much harder shot and much, much higher risk. So the first thing with the fade, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the transition at the top of the backswing to the downswing. A really simple tip to help you hit that fade. So, if I swing up to my normal position here, okay, what we're going to then do is we're going to get the feeling that our left shoulder is the first thing to move. And when that left shoulder moves, it actually influences an out to in swing path. That out to in swing path will actually help hit the fade that we actually want to. So what I mean by that is that when we're at the top of the swing, okay, we're in a, what I would say a standard position, if your left shoulder moves first, the club will actually move from out to in. That out to in swing path will definitely influence the ball starting further left of the target, and then drifting on the way through. The biggest thing we must make sure we, not, we don't release our hands on the way through, so we keep the club pose very passive, very neutral, and it's much, much easier to hit the fade. So this is what it should look like in real time. So at the top of the back swing, the first thing to move is our left shoulder. It influences that path to come across the ball. Okay, and the ball will start left and it will fade back. So that's the fade. So again, from the same backswing position, we can actually hit the draw as well. And again, it's a nice, easy, simple motion that can be practiced on the driving range. So this time, okay, we want the ball to move from right to left. So what we're gonna get the feeling of is actually our right shoulder going down. So pulling the right shoulder down. When you pull the right shoulder down, it actually shallows off your swing path. So from here, you pull your, your shoulder down, you can see the club comes behind you. It comes from the inside gives you an in to out swing path, which again influences that draw shot. So what we're gonna do again, I'm gonna show you a nice simple movement again in full swing. Here, shoulder down, club's now behind. We're gonna hit the inside of that ball and we're gonna hit that nice draw shot. So again, when that flag's on the left hand side of the green, I would like to try and get a setup for the middle of the green. I think actually, if we pull that down, we're going to be able to influence the little right to left shot shape, which should be able to get closer to the flag stick. And this is what it looks like in full time. So top, down, inside the ball. Again, so the ball starts right at target and draws back onto target, if not slightly left of target, trying to get close to that flag. I hope that was a simple tip. Try and practice on the driving range and let me go ahead and get on. We'll see you again.